Thanks to the artistic talents of a cosmetic surgeon, it's now possible to actually correct one of Mother Nature's mistakes. Here's our report. Taking a formless ball of wax and transforming it into a bronze sculpture is an art. And taking a lifeless piece of cartilage and sculpting that into new life is also an art. Plastic surgeon Dr. Bert Brent is one of the only physicians in the world to sculpt ears for people without them. He was catapulted to international attention when Italian kidnap victims whose ears had been cut off to ensure ransoms came to Dr. Brent for ear reconstruction. Can you hold still? And now, it's six-year-old Anita Pastor's turn. She is one of hundreds of children a year born without an ear, and Dr. Brent's unique skill is her only real hope. It's very important, I think, the way I see that, for her to be like everybody else. Before going to surgery, he makes a template of her one good ear, checking the height and the position. Could you see if there's a CO2 analyzer? In surgery, Dr. Brent, the surgeon, becomes Dr. Brent, the artist. First, he carefully removes a section of Anita's rib cartilage, which he'll sculpt into ear cartilage. Painstakingly, piece by piece, sections of ear are built. The base is created first, and then, sliver by sliver, much like carving wood, the ear is shaped. Plastic surgery is an art form. Just the rules here are much different. We have to get this all done and keep the tissue alive and get no infection. And if you mess up, you can't go down to the lumber company and get a new piece of carving material, you're all through. Just like sculpture, when the armature is complete, the real magic happens. Using a vacuum suction technique, the ear is positioned into place, and in a split second, watch this, Anita has the first stage of an ear. Today, two years after surgery, Anita is a different little girl, confident and outgoing. It's like a big load off of you when you find that finally she looks normal like the rest of the children is. Her ear, a living sculpture, pays tribute to the skills of an artist surgeon. Now, certainly most people going to a plastic surgeon are missing an ear, but the kind of techniques that you saw right here, the kind of things we're using to now reconstruct other parts of the body, chin, noses, and things like that. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more.